Hi everyone, Dr. Eric Linquist here and uh, welcome to Sauna Minutes. This installment's all about the urinary tract, S-step one, two, and three, and especially three in these patients that have lower urinary tract signs, you always need to get into that pelvic urethra as far as you can. It's a twist, it's a tilt, it's a slide, pronate your wrist to get back into that pelvic urethra. It's if you're just imaging the urinary bladder, you are missing lesions, I guarantee you. The deep pelvic urethra pathology is probably the number one second or third opinion pathology that I see sonographically when I look at cases that have already been scanned. Um, and they often get missed. And there's more often than not, no other comorbidity going on to cause the clinical signs unless there's maybe a UTI or something like that. So here we see a colleague that did uh, STEP protocol uh, as prescribed and uh, went through our course and is doing very nice work. Um, here's the bladder adjusting to the um, to the depth here. So you have a couple of centimeters, maybe a little bit short on the depth, but using a high resolution imaging because they already did the full ass step. And then since the clinical signs were urinary tract, the colleague um, utilized a high res higher resolution in order to get better uh, resolution on the urethra and bladder wall. And so as you can see, we go from S step one, two to three. And we're down in this pelvic urethra. The bladder is way over here. Sister urethra junction's over here. You turn that C of the sister urethra junction into a V. And as you turn that C into a V, the pelvic urethra comes in and the descending colon. So you have dyskexia covered and you have polycuria dysuria covered. And you see getting into this pelvic urethra, we have about a centimeter, two centimeters. And now look what happens down deep into that three to four centimeter urethra. Ooh, there's something popping up up there. All right. And this is the area you want to get into, especially when you have clinical signs. And you may find tumors down here incidentally as well. Uh, so even when you're doing an, uh, an exam for another reason, make sure you get into this pelvic urethra and you can see the colleague adjusted, changed the angle a little bit, pushed on the urinary bladder, which is a nice little technique to dilate the urine in the pelvic urethra. And you can see as we get deep in that pelvic urethra, we have a progressive thickening of the urethra wall. Normal here, normal, normal, normal. And as it progresses, it gets thickened, it gets irregular, and it forms an overt mass. And we're down into the end of the urethra, last couple of centimeters of the urethra. The colleague did a great job here getting in about five centimeters of the pelvic urethra in this female. And you can see the tumor sitting right there, classic transitional cell carcinoma, progressively uh, causing a mass. It's about two centimeters in length. You can't really see on the distal aspect where it ends, but you may be able to do a, uh, this is a female, so maybe I'll do a vaginal exam and then the urethra may have the tumor just popping right out at you. So, um, but this is, this is a key point. If you're not getting this pelvic urethra, I assure you're missing lesions. And this is a classic one. Remember, do the regular ass step with your uh, microconvex probe, and then use high resolution to the clinically pertinent organs. In this case, dysuria polycuria was in this patient's history. And this is the pathology you want to evidence and demonstrate who you are as a sonographer and get in that pelvic urethra and don't miss this lesion. All right. Hopefully you enjoy our sauna minutes uh, entry um, and uh, keep on scanning, keep on finding stuff. The more you look, the more you find. If it's sick, it needs a probe. Have a great day, guys.